Well, this is a short presentation to introduce the, the main insights on Seminario de la Práctica Docente. Well, my name is Sandra Guñat. I have been a teacher at the Profesorado de Inglés for more than 15 years. Uh, well, and I have been in charge of this um, subject um, for many years so far. Now, what about the aims? What are the aims for this year? Well, this year is, is it's an old one because our time uh, for doing uh, our work has been shortened, but we will find a way to make it the most. Well, first would be to delve into the theories and approaches on ELT to understand the language classroom work. And why do I say language classroom work? Because you will see that um, my proposal for this year has to do with observations. Apart from uh, analyzing theories and approaches, we will be discussing and sharing views and experiences on ELT. And when I say experiences, not you as teachers, but as learners, which counts for uh, paramount information in uh, our own training to be teachers. And perhaps this is the source that will give us a lot in order to discuss and to, let's say, prepare for the future, that is the observations. You will be carrying out observations at secondary schools in Paraná. Now, the main aim is to learn and to strengthen, if you have already done it, uh, work collaboratively to analyze classroom work, materials, and the theoretical frames behind them. And last but not least, enrich your experience by producing an academic piece of writing, which is by the end of the seminar. Now, how are we going to work? Well, there will be different instances of learning in this seminario. There will be certainly individual work, of course, pair work for the observations. You are expected to observe in pairs. And in case there is a group where there is an odd number, there will be a group of three. And group work. Why? Because together in the class, you will be, um, let's say, assigned different tasks where you will have to get together with your classmates and um, do them accordingly. As regards the way and the places, well, First, some of the work will be in our school uh, where we have our lessons at university. Well, and if possible, face to face. Well, there will be online work also, including apps and social media groups and websites. Uh, and what do we mean? Well, this is one of the means I'm referring to. And uh, well, at schools where you will be carrying out your observations. As regards course materials, well, I have already, um, let's say, compiled some uh, extracts from books related to teaching practice. Uh, I would like to uh, mention the ones that are core, let's say, that is um, some chapters of psychology for language teachers, then um, lessons learned and uh, learning teaching that you will see these uh, books um, in detail by the end of the presentation. Some of the texts selected are in Spanish, such as chapter number one and two from Didáctica para Profesores de a Pie, o Los Dispositivos para la Formación en las Prácticas Profesionales. Why? Because, um, let's say, these books 
contribute a lot to our learning in terms of the fact that they are grounded to our national reality. Well, it is important to have the materials, so that's why I will be uploading the handout as soon as possible so that you can download it and print it if necessary. In terms of assessment, well, with regard to assessment, I can see, I can say, sorry, that there will be individual involvement in class being, let's say, appreciated and given a lot of importance, that is to say, um, how active are you in your participation in class in terms of discussion, for example. Now, what about your disposition to help your peers and help the teacher, why not, uh, when it comes the time? Then, what about your role uh, in the group and in the pair that you will conform. And of course, attendance as it is in um, the university um, requirements. Well, tools or resources for assessment. What will be um, the, let's say, parameters and um, tools to assess your work during this seminar. Well, group and individual participation in discussions, presentations, there might be times when I ask you to, um, let's say, develop into deep one of the topics that have been discussed or that are within the bibliography. And finally, right, uh, there will be an essay, an article, or why not a practical work, depending on the time that we have um, after the observations related to topics dealt in class. That much depends on time av availability, I have to be honest in this aspect. And the final report is the one that gives you, let's say, the um, the insight necessary to reflect upon what you have um, observed. As regards uh, the books that we will be, let's say, reading, they will not uh, be the entire book, of course. Some chapters, I have specified them here in this list. As you can see, planning as narrative, the chapter that deals with observation, lesson learned, uh, well, um, it has to do with um, a book that has a reflective approach towards teaching, and it is very interesting. Uh, Tim Scrivener, Learning Teaching, it deals with roles and organization of a lesson, which is very important. Uh, for the second half of the year, where you will be in Seminario 2. Didáctica para profesores de a pie, that gives you a clear picture of the classroom and what it is expected to happen there. And, of course, under the constructivist view, I have to, to say. And Psychology for Language Teachers, which uh, in a way develops thoroughly approaches and theories um, as regards pedagogy in the English language classroom. Well, this is for you to have um, an idea, to have a picture of what the work in Seminario will be for this part of the year. Um, on a second presentation, I will be um, developing one of the topics right from uh, the chapters that I have assigned for to be read for this year. I, I will also attach a glossary for you to consult whenever you have doubts. And well, we'll be in touch.